Greetings, St. Simon and Jude family. Rectory quarantine is over. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God that Father Umani is completely recovered. And as you know, Bishop Olmsted and I both tested negative for COVID-19, but we wanted to continue the quarantine as an act of goodwill and a, an act of confidence for you to know that we are taking every precaution to keep you safe and healthy. And so I want to thank each and every one of you, families and individuals who prayed for us during our quarantine and that prayed especially for Father Umania. Your prayers worked. And we also want to thank the families that provided us with dinner on a number of occasions while we were cooped up in the rectory. Now, as we all know, there's been a second wave of COVID-19 and the anxiety level is, is hyped up a little bit again. And throughout all this time, there have been some people that have not been feeling comfortable about leaving home and coming to Mass. That's fine. The dispensation for Sunday Mass is still in place. And um, others who were coming to Mass, but when the, the COVID cases began to increase, started to pull back a bit. Understandable. And everybody has to make their own decisions. But because of that, we had a drop in attendance. And because Bishop Olmsted and I were, were both out of commission for a while with the quarantine, we weren't able to offer the, the mass schedule that we've been offering during the pandemic. And so we scaled back and stopped our daily Monday through Saturday, 8.30 a.m. mass. And we took our Sunday schedule, which was the four masses, two English, two Spanish, and communion in Smith Hall. And we reduced that the last two Sundays to just the televised mass. But now we're ready to start gradually moving back to that schedule. So we have reinstituted the daily 8.30 a.m. Mass, Monday through Saturday. And we're slowly going to move back into our Sunday schedule. So the gradual move back is we will offer one English Mass on Sunday, 9 a.m., our regular televised Mass. Right after that Mass in Smith Hall, for those of you who are not ready to come to Mass yet but would like to receive communion individually or as families, you can come to Smith Hall right after the 9 a.m. televised Mass. And then our second Mass on Sunday will be 3 p.m. in Spanish. Now, one of the reasons we're moving back gradually is because we need to have enough volunteers to man all of the posts, we could say, to be able to usher, to offer people seating, and to provide all of our precautions that we are putting in place to protect your health when you come into the church. The other reason is because our attendance has dropped. So rather than putting the full schedule back and maybe only having 30 people at a Sunday Mass, we've decided to reduce it to one English Mass and one Sunday Mass. And when those congregations build back up to capacity, then we will consider adding a second English Mass and a second Spanish Mass. But the parish staff and I continue to collaborate very, very closely to consider all of these different aspects with the dual priority of taking care of your health when you come to your parish, but most importantly, always doing everything we can to make the sacraments available to you for the spiritual health of you and your families as well. So I just wanted to give you a little update of where we're at, and until the next time I have a chance to join you by video, may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Take care, and God bless you.